Hello my dudes, it's your boy Zeddy, aka Most Country Man Man. And um guys, this is the little next little game of my all Tennessee team. Now um, if you wonder why I just admit, I hit record a little late because um I know I looked at this guy's team but when I wasn't recording I looked he had the golden ticket Michael Vick so I figured I'd record this to see how this game's gonna go guys so um so I went ahead and just hit record and I do go ahead and look for his team here in a minute and let you see him. But um what I wanna talk about this game um today guys is that um all these people got these super teams, but they suck. I just, it just makes no sense to me why it seems like people spend all this money and stuff just on these ultimate teams, have these super squads. But then they don't ever just take the time to actually learn how to play the game. They think their team's going to do everything for them. And as we'll see this game, guys, uh, he, he gets some help, but it's, it's, it's not big. I mean, it's a complete waste for him to have a golden ticket Michael Vick with 100 speed because he doesn't know how to use him. He doesn't. He doesn't even attempt to run with him, so one thing, so it really makes no sense at all. But, but anyways, guys, we'll get into the gameplay. You see, I picked him off on his first play. He just chucked up something stupid. So right here, I hit, hit him with the out route, man. Look at this. This is 99 overall, Randy Moss, and he does that. But um, I go ahead and look at his team right here after this play. See, he's got the golden ticket, Michael Vick, over 100 speed. He's got the combine, Chris Johnson. Rookie, Mike Evans. He's got the non-golden ticket, um, Brian Finneran. And Calvin Johnson, got Tony G, the Sparkle. He's got the 95 speed Dwight Freeney. He's got he's got some rookies mixed in here and there. If I had to guess, I would say he probably had a, a lot better team than what he does now, and he sold off a bunch of his team to get enough coins for the Golden Ticket Vic. So then he just bought some rookies because they were cheaper. If I had to guess, that's just what I'm thinking. But who knows? Maybe he just like the rookies, you know. <laughs> but um, out there I do I end up taking my field goal because um. I figured I got I got a turnover, so I like taking my points after a turnover. So even though I kind of got screwed, well I did get screwed because I dropped the touchdown. So I just went and took my field goal anyway. But as we see, guys, um, this guy see he's got Vic. He got 100 speed right there, and he, instead he's just gonna chuck it up. He could have ran around the edge, cause you know if he wanted to, but he just chucked stuff up. See what am I doing right here? I'm sent. Oh, yeah, I'm sending some little pressure off the right. Let's see what's going on. See, look at this. He's got. A, he just throws something stupid out there. You got a hundred speed, my dude. Just run off of it. Guess what I do? I wish I had a hundred speed bit. But I'm um, here. Here hits fourth and eleven. He goes for the post route. I do. He doesn't. I'm dropping it in traffic. So um, I end up just um, getting another turnover. So I hear try to get him on the fade to Randy Moss, but he's got he's got some good cornerbacks. So they're stopping him. So um, I end up in the quarterback sneak. Get first down. Trying to get a touchdown here. I'm trying to hit him with these little slot fades. And this Jason Witten is my best catch in traffic guy. He's got, I believe, 95, I think. So, he usually catches those fades pretty consistently. And right here, look at this, man. Hit him with another out route. And that, and that time, he actually catches it. But for some reason, Warren Moon passed it. He got, went threw it down. We had to come back to the ball, so I didn't get in the end zone. So, right here, a stupid play call on me. I just, I don't know. That play is usually good for at least a yard or two. So, I just tried to run it, but didn't get it. So, so right here, I'm trying to keep him from getting a safety. Oh, I'm still saying I'm trying to get a safety. Right here, the play fake messes with me. Camera angle changes, and messes up my user a little bit, so it gets a nice little completion, gets himself out of the end zone. So I didn't get the safety. So now right here, I believe I'm yes, I'm setting up double edge pressure. Now what I should down here, I should put my cornerback in the left and a flat. If I would done that, I would have had him completely locked. But I'm on, just adjust my failed to make. So. So right here, I'm gonna try. What am I doing? I don't know. Looks like I'm setting up a little coverage D. Yeah, I've been blitzing him a lot, so decided to mix up a little coverage D. So I try to. If you see I manned up Willis to be inside and trying to move him in, inside or whatever, so he can cover that post better. But it still actually got open. But this dude just, like I said, he's just chucking stuff up, so didn't get it. Now, guys, I'm thinking about switching offenses. I've been running um, Green Bay offense for a little while, like I was running Atlanta. Now, it's because I like the sweep, but as we'll see, every time I run the sweep, people don't have to have a run D because I just get hit in the back for like this. I hear every time I run it, which I don't understand why. So I'm trying to think of finding an offense that has some good run audibles. Like this, um, the swing offset stuff's all right, but it gets blown up a lot too. So I'm trying to think, think of another little offense to run. So I'm just in the year with something for fun. But as far as my passing route combos and stuff, Green Bay is good. I like it. The bunch and the um, offset week has some good stuff. But I don't know. I do, usually, oh, with someone that's run fag D, I've always had Randall Cunningham or some fast guy like that to bail me out. Now I got Warren Moon. You know, he's only got like 
was 83 speed, which is um good for like a regular quarterback. <clears throat> but when you're playing the ultimate team, I hope everyone on defense is like 97 speed. It's just, that's pretty, it's pretty much like having Peyton Manning for Met standards. But <laughs> but uh, so I'm just trying to have to make up for that by making good reads because I can't just bail myself out with just running around. So right here we're going in the half. I see B wide open. I like I said um. I have a bad, I've actually developed some bad habits, so see, I'm used to having Randall Cunningham, so I started to run out, just run around the edge, because I've seen no one out there, I mean, I had Warren Moon, and I couldn't, because he's so slow, so then I just seen B open late, and I tried to throw it over across the field, and I think I passed that up, so it gave it a safety enough time to go pick it off, otherwise I would have, could have completed it, but you see, he's just checking something up before half, don't blame him, so um, when I do end up picking him off, I actually throw a Hail Mary myself and throw a pick on the last play before half, but I just go ahead and cut that out. No point in watching it. So um, right here, guys, um, getting the ball second half, going in a little bit of dots. And, um, oh, by the way, guys, I know I said I was going to be real like, active and stuff again, and I'm like, you see, takeaways to Brett Favre and Madden. You know, he retires and stuff all the time. Like, and I said I retired and come back out. I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call myself to Michael Jordan. Right. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna come out of retirement and win some titles. I ain't gonna be like Brett Favre about like, takeaway. Come out of retirement and not do anything. I gotta try to win something. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Ain't nothing to win. But anyways, guys, I don't know. I just none of us lazy. To be honest, probably just about making videos. I don't know. But I play when I don't want to play. Then I'll take a couple days off. Then I'll play a couple days. I don't know. Who knows? I wait for some new games, man. There ain't nothing to play. But look at this crap. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Look, watch this. Y'all seen this right here, guys. I run a smart routed out route, which is hard enough to stop as it is if you're not expecting it. And this dude, like a moron, run commits to the right. And his cornerback still picks off my out route. How does that happen? And he gets a pick six out of this crap. Dude's a complete trash, bum, terrible player. And he gets that crap. That's ridiculous. And why would you run commit in the first place? I lose yards every time I run out of that. Because you got JJ Watt right there bloodshed. But, anyways, guys, you see right here, he's hit me with a big app two times in a row, and I recognize it. But look, so I block my running back here and just dot him up on third down. So, at this point, what I'm thinking, this EA is out to get me. Look at this. I, so you see, CJ just stops running right there. I had some, a lot of room. So, what I'm thinking, alright, I'm making this the last drive. So, I'm going, I'm not going no huddle, I'm just huddling up, you're getting to know the um, accelerated clock. So I get the ball, Nate Washington, get down. I right hear. So now we're going down. This is the, the drive. The game is on the line right here. What will I do? And like I said, I run that stupid sweep, and it doesn't get nothing. So I right hear we're under a minute left. Block my running back. Hit him with a slant. Get down. <clears throat> and this guy decides not to call his timeouts. He thinks he's going to lock me up. I guess he don't understand that he's getting no luck to stop me. And he's not skilled. So I'm hitting him with these fades. I keep dropping him. Jason went and gets hurt. See, I don't have Jason Witten to throw him to. Is my bitch catching traffic guy. So, right there, I try to throw it to Moss, and he throws it out of bounds. So, right here, fourth and go. And look at Jason Witten is back. Is he clutch? Is he clutch? Fourth down. Yes! Catch that thing. Catch the ball. Go timeout. Four seconds left. I'm making... Is this the... Right here, the game is on the line. I'm going to try to make this the last play if I can. So, I come out. I know he's expecting QB sneak. So, I put... I'll cancel the play action, block real facts, put my tight end on a whip route, he run commits, and dot, dot, game winning to Jason, Witten, never quitting, I don't know, I made it up, sound a little catchy, but <laughs> I do end up getting that right there on him, so i uh, got two seconds left, I'm up by three, so the only thing he can do is kick, return this kickoff, so I'm taking it safe, kicking the square right down the middle to him. Kick get to Tony G and he tries to lie to it and no magic could happen or no fluke, whatever you want to call it. So I do end up got coming around with, with a win, guys. Yeah, that's right, Pete Carroll. You lost. But um end up coming to win this I got the squad. Yeah, you did have the squad, but you didn't have the skill. No, I allow forty eight yards of defense and still barely win. That's pretty sad. So you see I do end up getting the win. I'm five and over this season. Now let's go ahead and watch the replays of this crap. <laughs> <clears throat> so watch this. See, I block both running backs, so I don't have to have worry about the play action. He does run commit, expecting a QB sneak. So I just throw that in there, guys. 
So make sure you hit that like button, guys, for this clutch drive. <laughs> clutch a clutch call, too. If I cussed all QB sneak or something, I lost yards and not scored. But, but let's watch this Charles Woodson pick, man, off this run commit. Well, he run commits to right. And look at that. He's run committing down. I mean, he's running all the way to the opposite side of the field, and all of a sudden, bam, he's going to react to that. It's crazy. I mean, if, if I would have had him on a streak, I would have got the touchdown, but why well, would the dude run commit? It makes no sense. But <laughs> that's just the way it goes, guys. Oh, uh, y'all know EA's always out to get me, but you never know. Maybe Madden 15 will not suck, and I'll be able to dominate like I believe I should be able to. But that's just the way. It's just Madden. <laughs> Everyone's been in this position that plays Madden a lot. But, <clears throat> but um, anyways, guys, coming to the end of the video right here, I'm looking for my stats. At least 3 out of 10 for 55 yards and 0 touchdowns for 3 picks. Now, 2 of my picks was a Hail Mary before half and that, and that out route fluke. So, I didn't really play that bad, honestly. But make sure you like the video, guys. and help my channel grow. Makes it show up on searches better. So, uh, other people can find out my channel. And comment and subscribe. And until next time, it's your boy Zeddy. And I'm out.